New at 11, Mason's mayor called it a golden opportunity to develop the city's downtown. Last May, just one month after a majority of city council approved this deal, the council voted on it again. This time, council killed it. Nine on your side's chief investigative reporter, Craig Cheatham, investigates why the council reversed itself. The road to developing downtown Mason winds through successful businesses. Everything good? And those building on the promise that they can be. But with every step forward, the city still lacks a thriving downtown. The city's most recent vision for developing downtown focused on buying two properties near the corner of Main and Church Streets. This one on Main Street and this one on Church Street. Both of these properties are right next to four acres already owned by city taxpayers. And both of them have direct access to busy city streets. By a 4-2 vote, Mason City Council agreed to pay the seller, businessman Ramesh Malhotra, $600,000 for both properties. Mayor Victor Kidd abstained from voting on it. I am seeing red flags. Council members Kathy Grossman and T.J. Honerlaw voted against it, partly because they believed the city was willing to pay too much money. Grossman says Mayor Kidd also refused to answer all of her questions about a previous unrelated private real estate deal he signed with Mahotra. I wasn't born yesterday. I had a feeling that it would not go over well for me to raise red flags about that particular transaction. In December 2015, Mahotra and Kidd signed an $879,000 land installment contract for this 25-acre property near Mason. Mahotra was the buyer. Victor Kidd signed the contract as the sole representative for the seller, Living Leaf Community Church. Kidd, who was the Mason vice mayor at the time, was also the senior pastor of the church. If our seller owes a substantial amount of money to one of the members on council who is negotiating this deal, I believe that's a conflict of interest. Mayor Kidd said Malhotra doesn't owe him anything from the sale. In a statement to the I-team, Kidd said all of the proceeds go directly to the church, which he says never paid him more than $25,000 a year as pastor. Since being first elected in 2001, I've been dedicated to maintaining the highest level of integrity <coughs> in every aspect of city business and will continue to uh, that commitment until my final day of service. During a special council meeting in May, Mayor Kidd insisted his involvement in discussions about Malhotra's downtown lots were transparent and proper. Since there is a persistent effort to cast doubt on my objectivity, I've asked our law director to make a formal ruling on conflict of interest. After making that statement, Mayor Kidd recused himself from the meeting. The city law director said he determined that Kidd had not violated ethics laws, but the council still voted six to zero to not buy the two downtown properties from Malhotra. Malhotra did not respond to our request for an interview. Kidd declined to be interviewed. It's a personal vendetta being taken out against Victor. I have 100% confidence in that. Todd Hudson, owner and chef of the Wildflower Cafe in Mason, says the city has lost another opportunity to develop downtown based on what he calls petty politics and an attempt to discredit Mayor Victor Kidd, a longtime critic of Kathy Grossman's husband, Tom, who was a former city councilman and a current Warren County Commissioner. It becomes about winning, and it becomes about getting reelected. The I-Team watched more than 40 hours of Mason City Council meetings, including this exchange in 2014 that began when then-Councilman Tom Grossman, Kathy's husband, insisted that Victor Kidd should apologize to him during the council meeting for the way Kidd described Tom Grossman to a reporter. You said that I was trying to hurt the mayor. Not true. You said that I was incompetent. Not true. You said that I damaged and hurt people. Not true. Apologized for saying it in the wrong spirit. Uh-huh, but you didn't publicly apologize for making baseless false claims. Because I believe them to be true. Four years after that exchange, insults and innuendo are still revisited during Mason City Council meetings, all at taxpayer expense. I'm frustrated and I'm angry. I'm angry that they're dedicating this amount of time to such nonsense. Hudson says some city council members need to refocus their attention on issues that matter to the public.
It's an inefficient way to run a government, and there is no one in their right mind that would ever run a business like that. Kathy Grossman insists she only wants to increase transparency. She proposed an ordinance requiring additional disclosures by property owners selling to the city. It would have allowed voters to decide if her plan should be part of a city charter. Mayor Kidd said it was like killing a gnat with a nuclear bomb. Council rejected it. When someone has the truth, they just tell the truth. When someone doesn't have the truth on their side, they pound on the table. Who's pounding on the table? There are people who think you're pounding on the table. I'm just telling the truth. Ramesh Malhotra did not respond to the I-team's request for comment. After Mason's law director determined the mayor hadn't violated ethics laws, Mayor Kidd requested two additional outside reviews, including one by the Ohio Ethics Commission. The Ethics Commission says conflict of interest is not necessarily illegal. Many local officials, like Mayor Kidd, do business with someone like Ramesh Maholtra, who owns 30 properties in the Mason area. The commission says illegal conflict of interest occurs when public officials make decisions that directly benefit them or others close to them. And so far, the I-Team has seen no evidence that Mayor Kidd has done that. Craig Cheatham, Nine on Your Side.